How's it going everyone? And in this video, we are going to be walking through how you can generate a CSV containing your trade data from Robinhood. And what we're gonna be doing is cloning a Python repository. You don't have to worry about coding any Python. We're just gonna be running a file, supplying our Robinhood credentials. And this is going to make a call to the Robinhood API in order to return you this list containing all of the transactions associated with your account. This would be things like the ticker, quantity, price, price currency, date of transaction, and the action, such as whether or not to buy or sell uh, a given stock. So this is gonna be the output of this process. I'm personally doing this because I need help uh, for my 1099B form for tax season. And you can reach out to Robinhood, Robinhood support directly, send them an email requesting a CSV, but this is something you can do on your own and not have to wait. So this is an alternative, or if you're someone who wants to be more data-driven and can get that constant transaction history, um, this will help you out. So uh, the very first step in this process is gonna be navigating to this GitHub repository that I've created. This is forked from uh, another uh, GitHub user called Josh Fraser. This one, uh, what you're gonna be doing is clicking on this little download button here, and you can open this with GitHub Desktop. You can download the zip file. Um, there's tons of ways, but basically we're gonna be cloning this repository. In my case, I've already opened it with GitHub Desktop, and I have the program open right here. And so what you see right here is the same thing that's inside of uh, this Python directory uh, right here as well. So um, what we're gonna be doing is navigating to this app.py folder, and then you're gonna right click it. And if you do require to have some dependencies installed, depending on which IDE you're using, um, you can just make sure to install those. The other thing you can do uh, is just type in the following pip install and then requirements.txt. I've already done that, um, but your IDE should also tell you if it's missing any packages. Next, what we're gonna be doing is right-clicking on app.py, and I'm gonna be running this in debug mode. Um, you can just run it normally. And so what it's going to be putting in here and what I will be censoring is uh, your Robinhood username. Um, so you'll type this in, you'll type in your Robinhood password. I will also be censoring this part because that would be terrible if I got out. Um, and then finally, Robinhood does have multi-factor authentication. So what uh, is gonna be going in here is the text message that they send you um, when this thing is requesting access. So I'm just gonna hold off right now and wait for my phone to give me a code. And so after you put in the MFA code, it will begin to pull your trades and make the CSV file. And this part can take a variable amount of time. If you're someone like me who's done a lot of trading, uh, it's going to be a little bit longer, take a few minutes. And there you go. So after this thing finishes, uh, it's grabbed all my trades. In my case, I had 467 trades. And the other thing it's going to generate for us is this little CSV file, uh, which will be located uh, under the same directory. So we've got this thing called clean trade data.csv, and you can view this in Excel and uh, use this for your own purposes. So I'm gonna wrap things up with that. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and take care.